Welcome to the Alchemical Empress page. I'm your host, Nicola. This message is for those who are warriors. Those of you who know that you came back here for such a time as this. This message is definitely not for everybody. If you find that this message does not resonate with you, please, by all means, click off. Those who know what I'm talking about and you know this message resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Share the video to those that you know need to hear the message. And leave a comment because I'd like to know who I'm talking to sometimes. I'm here to tell you that it was all a training ground. You signed up for something before you got to this planet, not recognizing what the obstacle course was going to look like. You said yes, and you came in, and you took the assignment, and you came to this planet for such a time as this. Many of you came through very difficult childhoods, crazy ass parents, circumstances and situations beyond your control as a child. You adopted to whatever you felt like you had to do in order to make it to adulthood and you made it through. You passed obstacle number one. You made it through childhood. <laughs> you survived. Now, I'm not saying that some of you survived unscathed. Some of you have the scars to talk about it. Some of you have some of the psychological issues to deal with, the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual issues that showed you that you came through that obstacle, but you made it through. You made it through. And then you had to go into young adult life. You faced some of you. Rejection after rejection, abandonment after abandonment, hurt and pain, circumstances and situations beyond your control. Many of you wondered, why am I going through this? I have a good heart. I do my best to give to others, love others, be there for others, do for others. Why am I going through this? It was all the training ground. Testing you to see if you were still gonna stand in integrity even when it was hard. To see your tenacity even when you wanted to quit. Your resilience when people counted you out. It was all the training ground. Some people don't recognize that they are dealing with generals that may be sleeping in their cars or homeless under a bridge because the physical circumstances didn't look like who you actually really are. Some people were doing a whole lot better than you and looked at you as you was, as if you were nothing, looked over you, passed you up, did not acknowledge you. Many of them even saw your light and still didn't acknowledge you because you didn't have the physical accoutrements of this world to make it seem as if you were somebody to them and to what society says somebody really is. But they didn't recognize that your physical station in this realm did not dictate who you were in the other realm. And I tell people all the time, you don't know a person's rank in the spirit world so it's best to treat everybody with love, dignity, and respect. But you made it through. And you've come through some obstacles you never thought you would have to come through. And you survived some things that should have killed you 10 times over. Some of you survived accidents that should have killed you, but you're still here. Some of you have res survived relationships that should have taken you out or tried to take you out, but you're still here. 
Some of you have been in situations with people who call themselves friends that were trying to take you out, but you're still here. There were all obstacles on the training ground. I used to hear my great grandma say, I wouldn't give nothing for my journey. Meaning it wasn't perfect, but it was my cross to bear. It was the thing that I was supposed to do in order to become the person that I am today. Many people want what you want, but they don't want to walk through the obstacle obstacle course that you had to walk through in order to become the person that you are. Many people want what you have, but they're not willing to pay the price that you had to pay to get to where you've gotten. It was a training ground. The way you handled yourself with dignity when everything says you had the right to do things a whole different way. It was a training ground when you had nothing in your pocket and yet you held your head high anyway. It was a training ground when those jobs fired you, when people didn't treat you right. It was a training ground when you actually got power to see how you would handle it if you were actually the one in charge. It was a training ground to see how can you handle the weight that is placed on your shoulders for times to come. Because as new earth is beginning to usher in and new leadership is beginning to take their place again, the most important thing that this transition needs are people who are going to operate from a level of love and integrity and not abuse their power when they get it. The reason why the world went upside down, inside out, is because ego and greed and selfishness led to an extreme abuse of power. And so you had to be tested. You had to be tried. You had to walk through the fire. You needed to know what it feels like to be on the other end. Sometimes you were kings and queens cleaning toilets because you needed to know what it feels like to be on the opposite end of the spectrum so that when you step into your power, you know how to treat the people who are cleaning toilets with dignity, love, and respect. Some of you had to do work that was on the lowest of the lowest of toilet poles. Some of you had to feel what it was like to be homeless. Because when you get on the other end of the spectrum and you step into your power, you need to know how to handle those who have been in that position and handle it, your the weight of your new role with love, dignity, honor, and respect. This is not the time to abuse power. This new era that we're going in, this shift is so much bigger than you or me. This is a cosmic shift that we're moving into. And all of our little roles add up to a big shift that is happening, not only cosmically, but globally right now. And the parts that we have to play meant that we had to walk through some fire in order to assume our position in this next leg of the race. We have to put ourselves in a position where we can hand the baton to the next general with dignity and respect. We need to be able to pass wisdom to the young ones. 
We need to be able to pass something of substance to the young ones. We need to make sure that we hand the baton off with some sustenance this time in this next leg of the race. And for you to begin to see the importance of that, you had to walk through the fire. You had to walk through the fire. It was important for you to walk through the fire. But the thing is, you're coming out not even looking like the fire you walk through. Some of you are shining beautifully. Some people could never know the depths of what you've gone through by looking at you. Some people will never know the pain, the tears, the hurt that you've experienced in your quiet time because you come out glowing every single solitary time. You had to walk through it. It was all a training ground. It was all a training ground. As we step into a new earth, now you begin to shake off all the old and begin to release all that needs to be released so that you can walk into the new and wear your crown. You've earned that crown. You deserve that crown. You got the fire in your background to prove that you earned that crown. So hold your head high now. It's time to begin to assume your position, warriors, generals, kings, queens, gods, goddesses. It's time to assume your position. Learn a new thing. Do a new thing. Reinvent because you are the creator. Create. Release. And know that it was just a training ground. That you've come out of it. And now, let the pieces fall where they may as you assume your position. Until we meet again. Peace, my people, my warriors, my kings, my queens, my gods, my goddesses. Peace to you.